Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Frostpunk. In the last video, we just started kind of cruising. Um, we did like a full week in the last video, and for this one, I'm probably going to go for about a week. I just want to get the, all of the relics, hunker down through all the storms, get through the storms, get all of these relics uh, recovered so I can kind of finish up with Frostpunk. Uh, not going to lie, the, vid the views on these are not what I was hoping, so it's more an issue of I want to make sure that I get all of the content done, finish this up, and then go from there. So we found the Ruined Warehouse and another buried Dreadnought. All right, so we're going to send these guys to the Dreadnought. We're going to send you guys to the Rock Spire. They're now 13 hours away instead of that. So we've got, looks like, one more spot out here. The wrecked vehicle, I think, will yield a couple more sites. And then um, probably the Ruined Warehouse will yield a couple of things as well. We're going to... Oh, there's the confirmation. We have another Hulk site. So that is going to be 10 relics. Uh, by the time this next storm arrives. And if we're doing three per storm, that's really just going to become an issue of... Ah, temperature's increasing. Yeah, look at that. Everybody's comfy. I'm not going to bother with the heaters and turning them off because I've got just a stupid amount of coal right now. And I'm also creating and getting a stupid amount of coal at all times, so it, it, it's, it's, it's okay. So looks like we're about four hours away from the next site. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep just speeding through this. It's the really the best thing I can do right now. So the wrecked vehicle, that's it. That's that one. Alright, from there, I'm actually gonna go to the this buried dreadnought, because if this yields anything, I can have all three scout teams in a similar location. And we got nothing being built there because we have full on prosthesis. We've got plenty of rations. Okay, you're gonna... No, wait. Warehouse first. No, wait, wait. Damn it. Explore. Okay, so we found the round rock from there. We'll send these guys onto that. You guys will come over to here. There we go. And... This may actually be it. I'm actually gonna pull these guys back to Winterfield. In the meantime... I mean, I've got two hot houses producing food at all times. I've got a ton of rations being stored up. And just, let's see how many rations I have. Let's see, storage. I still have 100 soup. And then I've got 5,000 standard meals. Oh, it's another. Oh, shit. Okay, so Desolate Valley, and then... Had a feeling. Going to the ruined warehouse. Okay, I should have really just kept that team moving. I shouldn't have diverted them. Just kept them going on to the path they were on. But oh, are they even going? They're functioning, but we're so close to capacity on the raw food. There's like, there's got to be like no animal life anywhere in this area because of how many rations, how much raw food I've recovered, how many rations I've made up. Okay. Yeah, th there's plenty to do, but also there's a lot of stuff going on, too. All right, the buried dreadnought firmly encased in ice. We're going to need 500 wood, 300 steel, and a steam core. Let's go ahead and get it. And what do you guys bring it back? What, what goodies do you have? A painted toy horse. Okay. I'm actually going to send these guys to the dreadnought. I don't know how far they were to the warehouse. Yeah, one day, two hours, or 23 hours to this, but since it's something known, they can get there a little faster. Uh, team 2 will head to here, and then onto the snow-covered supplies. Team 1 is onto the Desolate Valley, and Team 3, I think it is, is on its way back with the Relic. And at the time of recording for this, I'm recording this about a full week out. I've got... I'm not sleeping well again. Um, but I'm kind of at that point where it's like... All right, I'll just go ahead and uh, just just get up in the morning and record. I'm, I've, I'm dealing with writer's block again. I haven't written in almost a year. Um, the channel's obviously been a bit of an importance. Oh, it's another, it's another waypoint. Okay, so that I'm going to send for the lost vehicle. I'm going to go back to that once that team arrives at the city. We'll, we'll circle back on these guys because I can almost guarantee that yellow flag city right next to them. Well, I haven't been sleeping well, again, and 
I'm kind of at the point where I want to be writing again. I've got some ideas for stories, but I can't kind of get my brain to wrap around and do some of these things. We've got uh, the painted toy horse. Hey, look at that. Boom. Two hours. I love it. All right, you're going to go on to the snow-covered supplies. That's another ten hours. How many days? Six days? I'm going to send it back out to Round Rock. Now, I want to be writing. Um, in the meantime, it's just... It is difficult. It's difficult for me to find the... I don't want to call it joy in writing. Because I do... I, I definitely think it's a joy. We found a rocky slope as well. And a big storage of food. Alright, we're going to go for that. The 17 hours, we'll come back in five for that. That joy from writing that, I, I used to have it. I mean, it, was, it has this really good joy for writing. Oh man, called that one perfectly. Woo! And you guys are one hour away. That's why I love those little uh, cheats and dual mechanics in the game. Just having that the ability to write, I was really, really... So we found some abandoned supplies. That's it for this. So we're going to have these guys back out at Winterfield. And the story ideas I've got, they just range so wildly. And I've got to figure out if I want to try to write them up as a screenplay. Oh, that, that's it. That's all the resources. That's it. There's nothing left to explore. So all teams recall. We're done. Now we're just going to blitz into the storm again. I kind of wish my brain would just let me... Uh, would, would let me create these things that I want to create. And, I, I mean... If you're watching this, you probably had that little moment, too, where you have this idea, this really good idea, and the second you sit down and try to put pen to paper, everything just falls apart. My normal computer that I use for writing, my old one, that I was playing a lot of my early Surviving Mars stuff on, I'm now using my new rig for a lot of this. That computer's off right now because I just don't have any information. I don't have any... I just, I just don't have a need to have the thing on. I've transferred most of the relevant material over to my new computer, but my writing software, my Microsoft Word, the screenwriting software I use, they're both on my old computer. And I'm really thinking about picking up a license for a new screenwriting software, but it would just really have to get me into a position. I have to really get into a mood to write. And one theory I've got as to why I'm not writing is because I'm actually in a really good place right now. Um, but how I did a lot of my writing when I was younger was that when I was just having like a really shitty day, I would, that's when I would write. I cannot fit three there. I was really hoping I could fit a third one there. Oh well. And not having that... Not having that... In, well, rephrase. Being in the good place that I'm in right now. I mean, married, good job, daughter, dog, cat, house. This is... This being YouTube is not... A coping mechanism for something it's actually I'm doing it because I enjoy it having that as an availability to me I like that I'm gonna put these three just make a few more stores for those we got the next storm in four days we've explored all the things I have this little totem pole of explorers 
And I think that's with writing a lot of quote unquote tortured writers. If you read into the bios of some of the some of the great novelists out there, you see that they were not doing well. Um, what I mean by that is mental health concerns, physical health concerns. A lot of folks find their art through pain. And I think that's where most of my writing came from. I was in a very, very long time ago a very bad relationship, and that's where a lot of my writing came from. I was in unhappy jobs, and that's where a lot of my writing came from. I have a novel finished. I've it's about eighty thousand words. I guess that's I don't think it's a you know maybe a novella based on some folks, but I don't want to publish it. I've I've written it. I don't want to actually put it out. It's part of a bigger arcing story that I've been working on since Rock High School. And I just cannot bring myself to publish it. I can't bring myself to finish the editing or even hire an editor and say, hey, I've got this piece of work. I want to make this, I want to publish this. I can't bring myself to do it. And it's not, it's almost a little George McFly thing going. Where it's not that I'm you know, afraid somebody's going to tell me my work's not that good, because I know it's not that good for one. Two, I just don't know if I want that pain from my past to be out there for the world to see. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's kind of where my brain is right now. Don't put more rations than that down there. Anyway. Now, I do have the opportunity um, with the game while I'm doing all this and adding all these things in here. I could decommission the Hunter's Hangers. Because these guys are doing 45 food per day. And they usually go on for about 12 hours. These industrial hothouses are more efficient. But they do take two steam cores. And I would definitely put automatons to work each of them. So essentially it's three automatons per. I could do three industrial hothouses. I also have to find a place to put three industrial hothouses. The way I've stacked the city is not the best when it comes to that type of stuff. I've got a bunch of children's shelters out here. Oh, here comes another temp drop. Boop. Yeah, we're chilly in some of the larger depots. Don't really need to have those operating as such. Let's actually kick on the heater in the industrial hothouse. Keep that going. And these guys are all running comfy too. Boom on the horizon. It's like, okay, yeah, just bring the folks in. Go ahead and go full bore uh, about th mm, 13 minutes into the video. So let's just charge on ahead into the next storm. Oh, got plenty of coal, which is fine. We're gathering up as much coal as we can get. That's even flickering on full. How much coal am I burning? I'm actually curious on this. So we're consuming 8,000 coal per day. So yeah, it is three days worth of coal, but I'm also producing... 10,000 coal per day. That's helpful. Uh, okay, that's what's going on with it. Wait a minute. Why is that 114? 95 plus 19. That's 10% 10% plus 10%. That's 20%. Resources. Another 10% more efficient, another 10% more efficient. Hmm. Oh, let's take a look at the laws. I haven't done this in ages. Um, I don't need triage. I don't need a dueling law. I don't need House of Pleasure. Because that, that just lowers discontent, and I don't have any discontent. It's actually pretty dang good right now. Um, uh, discontent will rise. You have to break up protests. 
reduces discontent. That's why I'm not big on this far in it. In the purpose, that's why I've kind of left the laws alone, because I don't need them. Hope is actually pretty low. Holy crap. Hmm. Wasn't paying attention to the fact that Hope was just, like, ticking down. This it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, we have a storm coming, but at the same time, we have crap loads of food, we have crap loads of coal, we have all the wood and the, uh, what's that called? Steel that we're gonna need. We were pretty dang good off right now. Not really sure what more I could do to raise hope at this point. I mean, yeah, so I need to have patience to actually do extra rations. I'm not even doing that right now. All right, storm number, what is this, five coming in right now? Let's go ahead and burn through this guy and get back out there. So this is going to be, yep. Wow, so it's going to go to 90 below, and then it's going to go to 40 below after this one day. Wait. None. Let's pull these guys out. Made this mistake before. Yes, it is. Boom, okay. You are a cookhouse. Let's go ahead and crank up your heater. Why don't I have a cookhouse that far out? I do have a... Oh, yeah, I do have a steam hub there. So we're good. And I love this. So we're... It's 90 below. Temp overlay. These places are just chilly. Okay. Uh, that's an automaton in there, automaton in there, automaton in there. Go ahead and keep the large gardens operational. What are you, industrial hothouse? Yeah, crank up your heater. It's just one little spot where it's super, super cold. Even though there's a steam hub here and here. I guess the public house just has really poor insulation. Alright, so let's just blitz through this. We've got it. We got plenty of coal. We got plenty of supplies. It's essentially like, okay, just go home for the day. We're done. And also, considering I have so many folks who are unemployed, it's really an issue of some of these folks like, okay, we're just gonna rotate you through. I do like the fact that it's like, it's 90 below, and we have people just milling about in the square. Oh, we got somebody who's sick. Quick, get him out of medical. Oh, two people. Yep. Few people who are ill, totally fine. The next storm has abated, and we're on our way. Snowy Hill, Team 1, go. Destroyed Mine, Team 2, go. And let's try the damage Snowcat. So I'm assuming this is the sea. So we'll go out in those directions. We have about 16 hours till we're at the first location, so let's just turn and burn. Right. Max out the folks on there. There. And just having this working like a pretty fine-tuned machine is quite nice. I'm actually experiment with it. Or maybe not with this storm, obviously, because it's turned everything on. Actually sending... Actually just using industrial hothouses and hothouses to cook everything. And it's probably an achievement for like, oh, just not doing anything with any of these things. Large snowcat has exploded. Onto the stone arch. One hour, we'll come back and check on those guys. Completely destroyed mine. Onto the ice jaws. And I'm just trying to find these relics right now. This is the main purpose of this playthrough at this point, is to find the relics. Unfinished construction. Interesting. You're new. I don't think I've seen that one before. Undertone working in your shrine, 482, living in your house of prayer. Probably could try to slap in another temple. Oh, wait, can a temple fit right in there? 
Oh! Boom, look at that. Right there. I know the temple's got a radius, but this is actually going to help. Like, this area doesn't have any temple near it. Now that it's this area over here, which is... Eh, it could be worse. Alright, so now we have 522 out of 680 living in your house of prayer. That's good stuff. Oops. And stone arch. Yep, we got another dreadnought. Right, research outpost first. Right, I think the way to really explore this, I've been finding out in this playthrough is, go get everything else. Then hit up the dreadnoughts, come back before the next storm comes in. Or if you're at a point where... Oh, damn, got another one already. Alright, we got two of them. The third one's probably going to be out this way, toward the Ice Needles. That's the only reason I think you should actually loop a team back. Is if, like, you have that fourth direction you haven't headed off to yet. Alright, we found the... Let's see. Yeah, I'm finished construction. I hadn't read that one before. If you do want to pause and read any of, this th any of these things that I'm just clicking through, go ahead. Nothing says you can't. I'm just at the point now where I just want to get through the playthrough and then maybe find a new game. I've got plenty on my channel. I think by the time this video is coming out, it's going to be pretty close to the Steam Thanksgiving sale. Assuming Steam has a Thanksgiving sale. And uh, we'll go ahead and utilize that. Maybe find some new content to play on the channel. Um, I've seen Timberborn has uh, has gotten some interest from folks, and it would be kind of nice. Hey, steam course. Hey, three more steam course. I'll take them. All right, onto the frozen pond. All right, we're there. Another waypoint. Wow. All right, so I'm going to go to the Barren Hollow and then work my way back to the steam lorry. Again, this is what whole, like, get everything, run a big circle, and come on back. These explorers are probably like, man, can I, can, can we just, like, trade off with somebody? I'm just wandering around the snowy, desolate waste while everybody else is chilling at home. I'm also surprised at this point they haven't invented television. With how long that, uh, they've just been sitting here. I mean, 236 folks, including a lot of engineers, who have nothing to do. You'd think they'd be like, uh, eh, okay, might as well develop something for us to do. Whoops. Boop. All right, snow covered supplies. That's prop. Wow, up on the mountaintop. Click, click, click. Gonna see a uh, probably a few more steam cores out of that. All right. Ugh. Yeah, still tired. Wow. This guy's finding everything out this way. Team 3 is getting to be busy. They're going to be out for a while, looks like. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go abandoning. Actually, we'll go Steam Lorry first, then abandon campsite. So I've got a feeling that some of these are like, oh, you know, go out to this, go out to this, go out to this. It stretches out that circle and really sends you almost in the wrong direction. Oh, it's just food? Dang it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Lost Vehicles. It's a day and three to get to the Ruined Hut, but 13 to the Lost Vehicle, and probably a heck of a lot less once we get to that um, other spot. Where the hell were we? Second. So yeah, the Steam Lorry... I could probably send this team onto the Steam Lorry or to the Lying Rock just to get it a lot closer to the Ruined Hut, knowing with a known waypoint. They're there, the shack is falling apart, and some supplies. From there, we'll go to the small airship. And we'll go there. Hey, steam cores! Three more steam cores! And campsite 17 hours out. In fact, ooh, here we go. That's 21 hours to get there. I think if I check back into that in about nine, we'd be in a pretty good position there. right about here. Nope. A couple more hours.
Eh, let's see, so we're, what, 15 hours to that, 6 hours to that. That's why I'm kind of like, eh, I'll just wait a few more minutes. And now, suddenly he's 4 hours away. Boom, love it. Makes it so much easier. Alright, so Temple's doing its thing. Temple's templing. Hope, hope, hope. Ruined hut found a rocky slope out that away. Yeah, we'll do that. I was thinking about maybe assigning that one to Team 1 who's heading out to the abandoned campsite, but. A small airship. We got that one. Old shelter on our way. And we're almost to the abandoned campsite. Coal and wood. Oh man, we found more stuff out there. Damn. Yeah, that's why I was kind of thinking just keep this guy running around. The rocky slope is probably going to yield some stuff going the other direction. We'll try to grab that all too. It's day 80 on this playthrough. And um, still, if I'm not mistaken, I've only had one death. Yep. And he died on like day 8. Not bad. And on this one. Okay. So we got the resources. Now from here, I'm actually going to order them to Snowy Hill. Because it's going to go right past the Dreadnought. Right, we found the Rex Steamer. 15 hours. That's a day and seven. I'm actually trying to figure out the way, the best way to do that, so I'm not wasting resources, wasting them. Cold, looks like the cold has killed the roots and the wind did the rest. Okay. Right, on to the radio station. I'm going to check back on these guys in about three hours. And I think that'd be the way to go about this one. Nope, a couple more hours. We'll, go, we'll do it at midnight. And midnight. Yeah, you guys are right there. And there was this team there 22 hours away. You're now 9 hours away. Okay, we'll get there overnight. I can work with that. These two teams are actually going to reach their sites simultaneously, which is good. I haven't had that one happen twice before. So the radio station is abandoned. And from there, I'm actually going to send them to the Ice Jaws for that purpose. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. And from there... Actually, I'm going to bring this team back to the city. This is going to be one day eight. Yeah, bring them back. And this is one day seven for that team. Yeah, one day ten. Sorry. We'll bring them a little bit closer. And then we're going to have a, at least one relic brought in before the end of this video. We'll locate the other one also. We've got plenty of materials for everything, of course. 250 wood, 100 steel. We got the relic. And we're on our way home with it. It is the first folio. And as we're getting those guys going... Let's go ahead and the painted toy horse. I hadn't talked about this yet. Object from the British Museum collection of Roman artifacts, about 2,000 years old, found among the effects of the one of the deceased passengers along with his journal. Robert's Horsey. The ship was going down. We were about to board the lifeboats when I noticed that Robert had disappeared. You can imagine my thoughts. I rushed back into our cabin, wading in ice cold water to my knees, but he wasn't there. Desperation seized me, but then I heard the patter of his feet above. He emerged from the tangle of smashed crates. I caught him in my arms and ran. We barely made it. As we cast off, I know that Robert was clutching something tightly in his hand. I didn't want him to drown, he said. He can't swim sea because he's a horsey, but with wheels. So, here it is. The story of how this part of the collection was saved. The rest now lies at the bottom, and I pray that the crates, which weren't crushed by ice, hold until we can retrieve them. Wow. Alright then. That's relic number 10. And this guy is... The day out. 
But I think by the time that this team actually returns to the city, we'll go ahead and have that uh, ready to go. Nope. I just keep, you have to keep checking on them, because when you do that uh, little diversion tactic that I'm doing, it doesn't always work. Sometimes you overshoot it, and I have overshot it in the past, which is uh, slightly embarrassing. Nope. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna divert them now, just that way I can. Beep boop. All right. He's 12 hours out. We got the teams back to the city. The first folio has arrived, and you're now gonna go that away. Let's look at the first folio, and then wrap up the video. This book was published in 1623 and contains 36 plays by William Shakespeare. It was enclosed in an armored case filled with neutral gas, and it was found with it. To the finder of this treasure, thus sometimes hath the brightest day a cloud, and after summer every more, ever more succeeds, bare in winter with his wrathful nipping cold, so cares and joys abound as seasons fleet. Remember, not all is lost, the spring will come, have hope and endure, with this, I leave you and wish you courage. Henry Weatherby, Bookworm. If I must die, I will encounter darkness as a bride and hug it in mine arms. Hmm. I mean, I have not done a lot of Shakespeare reading, but probably should at some point. I also should put a cut in the video because I'm past the 30 minute mark, and that's where I'm going to cut off things here. Next video, we're going to finish exploring the frost, uh, Frostland, hopefully get up to, I think, 13 relics is the amount we're going to have by this end of this storm, and then I'll probably jump ahead to getting those last sets of relics because i'm not going to end the series until i have all 15 relics and as you saw from this video not much is really going on so the next set of uh, the next video may just be some highlights of me collecting those last sets of relics that'll wrap it up for now though like comment share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel thank you all for watching i'll see you all in the next video